100,000 on the Cummins. And if anybody out there knows anything about diesels, that's just broke in right now, son. That just broke in right now. Awesome. 300,000. You and I just witnessed a milestone. Literally a milestone. I've never seen an odometer turn over 100 to 300,000 like that. So that was pretty cool. Um, but I personally only put 90,000 of the miles on that truck. And I'm hoping I can get it to half a million. So anyways, we'll see if I get it there. Um, who knows? But I just wanted to make a quick video about two things that have been on my mind just recently and um, stuff that I've experienced over my time in this industry. And I haven't been doing this for decades or anything. I'm not, you know, some super experienced guy, but I have been doing quotes and estimates for seven years now. And the two things that I just wanted to talk about is um, just kind of the brain tactics and like the little, I guess, things people say to be witty when they're meeting with contractors and to try to get the best price. But these, these are just two things that I personally think you should never say to your contractor or potential guy that you're gonna hire, contractor, worker for your house, whatever. Um, number one would be give us your best price because we're getting other quotes. It's almost like a threat. It's almost like a threat of like, if you don't give us the best price, we're not gonna hire you. If you don't just give us your cheapest price, you're just wasting your time out here with your estimate. We're going with the lowest thing. See, that puts a bad taste in my mouth because I've got other things I could be doing, other jobs I could be quoting, other jobs I could be actually installing. So when people talk to me like that, I don't necessarily just write them off as like, I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. I will still send the quote, but I'm not gonna be competitive pricing. So I'm just gonna give you the price that it is. And if you find someone cheaper, then I guess, you can go ahead and go with them. So that is, it's almost like, it is like a threat. You know, give us your best price because we're getting other quotes. They think they're being witty. And like, you know, if we put this in this guy's mind, he's gonna give us the lowest price, but it doesn't necessarily work like that, at least not for me. Now, in my early days, when I was just trying to get going, that stuff did get in my mind. And I would do, I would price something really low and it would not be worth it for me to do it. And I learned a lot of hard lessons, took some losses and uh, learned the hard way. I think that's how everybody learns in this trade or in this industry. Um, but yeah, that's number one. Don't say, give us your best price because we're getting other quotes. That's just not something that puts a good taste in our mouth. Number two would be, why are you so much more than this guy? So number two would be comparing our quote or you know your quote some other person's quote to our quote don't compare quotes and don't ask us to come down to another level or why are you twice as much as this guy i don't know maybe he just doesn't value his time as much as we do maybe we're using a better material i don't know i don't know why it's like that but just keep this in mind there is no set price in construction i have a different value for my time for example we're a two-man team with this company. So we're gonna be more than a guy who can do it alone because you're paying for two guys and I don't work alone. So you're always gonna be paying for two guys, even on a small job and people really don't like that about us. Like if we come to just do one room of crown, you're paying for two guys, I'm sorry. If you can find another guy who's a one man show who can do it cheaper, by all means, I have no problems with that. That's fine, it's a free market. You can do whatever you want, but this is our price. So that could be one reason why we're double is because we got double the, the people, the, the manpower. And um, that's why with a lot of small jobs we don't get, like I'll quote them and then people will be like, whoa, that's high. And I'm like, yeah, because <laughs> that's how we have it set up. And I'm sorry, but um, this is how we do it. But uh, one thing that John always brought up, uh, which John is the guy that works with me, he's holding the camera, you know, when we would go through this a lot, you know, cause he goes with me to a lot of the quotes and they'll be like, you know, why are you twice as much as this person? Or why are you so much more? And we'll be talking in the truck, you know, after it. And he'll say, why don't they just go with them? You know, and I agree with that. If you can find someone that's cheaper, why even talk to me? If you found someone cheaper, 
then just go with them. And it's like you're going to, you know, say, let's say you go to like Texas Roadhouse and you're going to get a steak. And then, you know, you go in there and you, you get a bone in ribeye and it's like 50 bucks or whatever it is. And you get the bill and you're like, whoa, I can get the same steak at the steakhouse down the street for X amount, you know, $25. They'll probably tell you, well, why don't you just go eat there? Sorry, we can't. These are prices are set. So, you know, there is wiggle room. I'm up for negotiating and uh, I can negotiate prices. That's fine. We can, we can work out deals and whatever. But I'm just talking about like the brain games that people play. And maybe they don't even know they're trying to play brain games. Maybe they do think that they're being, um, you know, witty and, you know, trying to put stuff in our, in our head. But whatever the case may be, Personally, that's two things I would never say to my contractor. Number one is give us your best price because we're getting other quotes. And number two would be, why are you so much more than this guy or comparing our prices to other people? So hope that helps. If you're a contractor out there and you watch this video and you've had people say some stuff to you, leave it in the comments. I would like to hear it and get a good laugh or, you know, crazy stuff happens out here doing this stuff. But also if you're a homeowner and you've had a contractor say something crazy to you or just give you a ridiculous price on something, leave it in the comments. I'd like to get a good laugh out of that too because at the end of the day, we're all interviewing each other. You're interviewing me to see if you want me to do your project and I'm interviewing you to see if I want to work for you. So it's a two-way street there and uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to say. So anyways, thanks for watching this video and we'll see y'all on the next one.